got the dope. So I have started classes at Kennesaw State University for the fall semester. I just transferred to Kennesaw State University, so yeah. The reason I'm taking online classes is for one, I think 90% of online classes or classes are online anyway, so I believe, so yeah. But um, another reason is I want to be at home to rehab and be under my doctor and you know physical therapist supervision to monitor my rehab progress and you know doctor's appointments, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I think that'd be more convenient. Um, it has been kind of hard not being on campus because you know I want to get acclimated to the campus, you know, especially with me, me being, you know, a new transfer student, being a new transfer student. So yeah, doing that. And uh, I do want to make an impact and, you know, help others, but it's kind of hard to do that when you're not on campus. But, you know, uh, it is for the best. So at least for fall semester. So yeah, but I'm really just focused on rehabbing and getting better with that. And, you know, focused on, you know, doing well in school. So yeah. <laughs> So I made a lot of progress with my rehab. So I went from being on two crutches and no weight bearing to one crutch and a little weight bearing to no crutches and just the knee brace and weight bearing to not really needing the knee brace as much, but still kind of needing it a little bit. So yeah, my knee that I had surgery on, my right knee for my meniscus, um, it is starting to look like a normal knee now. So it's not as swollen anymore. And you know, movements, simple movements are getting you know easier to do like bending my knee, extending it, you know. So yeah, uh, rehab is, rehab started to get a little easier, but it has been getting tougher as well. Just really doing more work. So, you know, cranking it up a notch pretty much, but you know, it has been a challenge and I'm okay with that because I like that challenge, you know, to get better. So yeah, but I've been making a lot of progress and I'm really proud of that, especially being, you know, seven and a half to eight weeks removed from surgery. So yeah, I've been making a lot of progress and you know, just gotta keep getting better with that. And uh, yeah. So I caught up with my friend, Rial Mitchell. He plays quarterback for Temple University. He just transferred from Iowa State University to Temple University. So some of you actually may know him from the Netflix series, QB1. I believe he's on season two of that. So yeah, but he is a good friend of mine, really good athlete, really good football player, really good quarterback. So don't sleep on him. But I chatted up with him for a little bit. So check it out. I was like, how different is Temple from Iowa State? in comparison to where you're from, which is California. Right, so Temple, so obviously like Temple is, well, Philadelphia, which is where Temple is, hard, uh -huh. it's most comparable to California just because like, it's definitely not comparable to Iowa, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah. uh, it's definitely like, like I went to school in LA, um, but this is like where Temple is, is like in the heart of the city, like downtown Philly. So, you know what I'm saying? There ain't really no parking. You got to walk a lot of places type. So that aspect is a lot different, like real city life aspect. Um, apartments kind of small. So that's probably like the biggest difference. And then obviously like, Weather's pretty similar to Iowa, not as extreme. A lot different than California. California's perfect. Can't wait oh. to get back there. But, I mean, it's still a great place, though. I mean, like, it's different, you know, from California. Then went to the Midwest. Now I'm on the East Coast. So I just somehow migrated all the way over here, which is cool. Not everybody gets to do something like that, though. I mean, I'm definitely taking advantage of it, and I'm grateful for it, definitely. Uh -huh. Now. I'm going to ask you a question. All right. Well, we're going to go back and forth now. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So my question is, what's, what's your knee update? So knee update, I had surgery 16 days ago or something like that. So first week was hard just because it's fresh out of surgery. And then the second week has been a little easier because I'm able to bend my knee more and just getting more into rehab and being able to do a little more on my own. So it's, it's less painful too. It's still as painful because, I mean, I did have surgery, so of course it's going to be painful. It's going to be sore. But I've been managing that pretty well. So, I mean, 
it's just uh with with rehab i want to do more in rehab but like i can't so like i usually tell my physical therapist like i want to be in there i want to sweat i want to be drenched in sweat having to drink water a whole lot just like the whole nine yards but i mean with some stuff like that's not the case so yeah. I mean, What's the uh, like time frame, like recovery time frame? Recovery time frame is about three months. Okay, so we're with, just, with, uh, we're in the first quarter right now. So uh-huh. you got the first quarter strains, but I mean, so how would you assess your first quarter? First quarter, uh, first quarter has been challenging, but it's been good at the same time. It's like a good challenge. All right, makes sense. I don't know if, if that makes sense, but. It's been a good challenge, though. So, I mean, um, just with rehab, like, I've seen a lot of progress. It's like I wasn't able to bend my knee at all, and then now I'm able to bend my knee to this amount of degrees, 35 degrees, and then or something like that, and then get to 40 degrees, and then so on. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, yeah. The main thing is getting to 90 degrees, being able to bend my knee. That's one of the top things. That's one of the top things on the priority list. Or one mm-hmm. of your, that's one of your main goals? hmm Okay, definitely. Yes, sir. Well, I guess that'd be a short-term, like, main goal, because obviously your goal is being able to get back to running and everything like that. hmm For sure. I just want to be able to walk. That's all, that's all I want to do. That's really yeah, the main thing. Yeah, walk your run. Definitely. I just want to be able to walk and run. Not even, like, run, just be able to walk right now. That's just... Cause like their whole plan is like a, it's like zero to four weeks, see how that's going. Then four to six, I get my crutches off and I'm able to walk and then put some more weight on it. Then six to twelve or six to eight weeks, we're doing something different. And then, or I still have the knee brace. So like have the knee brace on. So after about a month or so, take the knee brace off and gradually just kind of get out of it and then still using crutches or still using one or the other, but gradually like having to use less of one of them. Yeah, definitely. You know? So like the farther I go into rehab and all that, I'm not going to have to use the knee brace anymore. And then the more I progress, I don't have to use crutches anymore. So. Yeah. How many, how many episodes do you think are going to be in this road to recovery? I've been doing YouTube since 09. Since 2009. I mean, yeah. It's probably when I first tuned in. Um, cause I know I just growing up was, I still am. Just, really, I'm a Nike fanatic, but like yeah. sports, sports gear, you know, and growing up, like I'm, you know, on YouTube looking at reviews, what to get, what not to get, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Yeah. And that's how I came across your channel initially. Honestly, probably back in 09, 010, maybe, or 010, hilarious, 10, I guess. Oh. That's the thing. Um, so now it's just cool, what, 10 years later, you know what I'm saying? Just being on the Zoom meeting with someone that I definitely looked up to, just, you know, every video it came out with, new Vapor Jets, new Vapor Carbons, all that good stuff. Let's go yes, back. So it's, definitely, it's definitely cool just knowing, like, 10 years later, like, we'd be on this Zoom call. It's crazy, really. Yep. Honestly, crazy. So oh, what, what's your, what are your goals for your channel? Near goals and future goals. Goals for the channel? Uh, probably one of them would be to collab with people more. And then another one, I want to get to 2,500 subscribers by uh, probably December of the year or for like early into next year, something like that. So. I'm only, I'm at like 1,200 right now, 1,200 and some change. So, I mean, the thing is, when I was taking a break from YouTube, I came back and I was like, I need to get to 1,000. So, I was at like 930-something or 940-something in a span of two weeks. All my, my people were helping me out and my subscribers just went up and I got past 1,000. So, I was like, all right, cool. So, I did a giveaway on my channel with some, like, pants and, like, a T-shirt. So... I'm gonna probably do some more of that still, but yeah. So you got a channel too, though. So what are your goals for your channel? Because you already passed a thousand subscribers just like that. Uh, something like that, yeah. But I mean, goals for mine just. I think I'll have a, a neat story when everything's said and done, and 
just some documentation for people to go back for or go back through either for motivation or just to see, you know, what it took to hopefully get to where I want to be. So that's really like what I'm doing with the whole YouTube thing. Moving forward, I want to just continue to just keep making progress and keep getting better, you know, achieving my goals with the whole rehab and recovery process, you know, which are to just really get better and get healthy, you know, just get better physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and, you know, just keep making progress and do well in school, and make good grades, you know. So, yeah, but the rehab and recovery process, it has been tough. Um, it's been extremely lonely at times, you know, very lonely. So I appreciate everyone who has reached out, you know, to offer some words of encouragement and just really check on me and stuff like that, see how I'm doing. So I really appreciate that for sure. It means a whole lot and it is very motivating. So thank y'all for that. But um, yeah, just gotta keep getting better, stay focused and you know, just keep making progress and you know, go forth from there. So yeah.